Hey guys. Hey guys. What is going on? Hey guys. The Emily TV here. What's up, guys? The Eminent TV here. I'm at sales, and today, guys, we're going to bring you episode three of the Road Score series. Join me today is Jamster. You eight, guys. Yeah, I'm not very well known with FIFA 13. So t today, guys, what we were going to talk about was the FIFA 13 matchmaking. Now, as you can see here, Hales gets put up against a full gold Serie A squad. Now, t to me, that doesn't look very fair, but <laughs> Hales is going to elaborate with you on this. I'm not sure why a bronze starter team has been put up against es this gold team. Especially with, like... Because our team still... Uh, how do you say this? St it's still got shitty starter bronze yeah. players. And all I think you guys already know the... The structure of our team so far is it's a, a non rare Premier Premier League team and so far because I only play this um old team for the series so I have to record every single or well, two games and then we buy a player after every single episode so people's teams are going to be gradually gonna get better and better the longer FIFA goes on so hopefully I will be able to keep recording lots of episodes to be more up to date and get a better team so it will be a more of an advantage for us against these amazingly difficult matchmakers isn't it James? Yeah, yeah it's it's quite stupid the way in FIFA 12 as well <coughs> uh, when you were with a full bronze team if you had like a full shiny bronze team like uh, Matt HD Gamers Bronze Beasts he'd get put up against uh, like bron uh, silver teams and bronze teams, and he just like murk them over. You can cherry pick your opponents <coughs> in, especially in FIFA 12. But now they've introduced where you do live seasons, and you don't get to see the team's ratings. But in, in fairness, in FIFA 12, you got to you basically cherry pick cherry cherry pick your opponents to seeing if like they've got a especially low chem, especially a low chem team and a really low rank overall teams but now it's just like completely completely got rid of that that kind of feature yeah is the fact as well whenever I'd go up against someone in uh, FIFA 12 I'd definitely the first thing I'd look at would be the chemistry you, you could tell if a, a team had bad chemistry and it was in the orange you were going to beat them straight away because when you don't have because the thing about especially this new FIFA FIFA 13 it's not a uh, pace is not so much of a huge factor it's more or less passing whipping the ball in so with very high chemistry you can pass it's a lot more better because you can pass accuracy you put your pass actually be a lot better be more on target the passes the shots be better and overall your, your game could be so much increased especially with 100 chemistry that's what that's what we're trying to do with this this episode even though the new well the more Popular formations are really expensive, like the four four twos, the four three threes, the four and two and twos, are so expensive. So you rather it's not it's very better to fork out some more coinage than to have low chemistry and just losing your games. That like, well in this first game we got a bliff raid. That's seven two then jumpster. Wait. Morning. But that's the thing with FIFA 12. Um, it was it. Uh, it was very, it was quite consistent with their the goal ratio kind of things. Like if you're a really good player with a decent team, you'd win three nil, four nil. But with FIFA 13, what I've seen from YouTubers and Hales' series, it's really inconsistent with the amount of goals you score. Like you might one game l win five nil with the, with your bronze starter team, the next game you'll lose seven two. It's yeah. really inconsistent, but. Um, that's sort of a disadvantage from FIFA 12 because it make it gives. I know it gives the worst players of FIFA a better advantage, but yeah. it brings the better ones down a step, which in ways is fair, but <clears throat> it is not fair if you've worked hard at FIFA to get good at it anyway. Also, guys, to elaborate on that point, the teams we come up ha like. In that Serie A team, I'm not sure, sort of like, how much I can that team probably cost, like, over, like, over, like, nearly 100 to 200k. Yeah. And our team cost a starter team with some, like, crappy, I'm not going to lie, they're not, not the best, but I'm trying to upgrade it to, like, a whole non-rare team, to a gold, to, like, a rare gold team. Yeah. But some of the players are, we have beaten some really hard teams. Yeah. But also, what I've been trying to add into the series, I'm not sure if you guys have heard about the trading, like, 
we, me and Jamps, when we were writing down some topics, some, to talk some topics, we talked <coughs> about trading and how I'm not sure, but as, as especially I've just started now to understand the fully trading, like how to gain more money and from, from profit in trading. Yeah, we've, that, yeah, we've been trying to write not write down, but get some tips for you guys to get a lot better at trading, and that'll be coming in a later series, but pretty, pretty, really quite soon. Like some of the bestest tips you could probably get from, especially from, especially from the in-game, is what do you say to me? Like, like never, if you quit, you lose your DNF. And if you guys do not know what DNF is, it's did not finish modifier. Yeah. And that would kind of that would mean if you played a game one. It's definitely happened in FIFA 12. If you one of a five or six, no, you used to get a, like a, a thousand coin. Uh, match coins. Match basically, coins. Yeah. And if you if you get quick games, it that goes down by I'm not sure percentage wise, but basically, once I got disconnected, I get disconnected so many times in the servers, and yeah. I. <laughs> Had like a really bad one of uh, match one of and I won six nil and I was getting like four hundred coins and it's, it's it works out really bad because also if you play games and you have got really bad modifier your players are going to lose contracts lose fitness and you're going to pay you're going to have to be forking out one fifty oh, well, now it's three hundred coins for a bloody fi bronze fitness I found yesterday really yeah <laughs> That's stupid insane. and and contracts is three hundred so you you basically the game doesn't even count because you're just losing it all on the contracts and everything and also me and my friend um, Ollie Reed Kill Killer Candy Plus 97 if you remember to put his description it was well, channel name in the description we used to do silver trading and that worked out so much basically all you have to do is obviously go to the auction and then it's the starting price and minimum price up to like it depends how much you want to like fork out first so pretty 300 to nearly 600 coins and put in a bid to the, to the players who you think had go for a little bit more? Because the bestest trade we ever done was we, we got a it was, it was a silver and you had five star skills. It wasn't El Shawari, and you went for around forty something to like forty two or seven k. We we got for seven thousand coins start price. <laughs> that's an amazing. That's thirty five k profit. Uh, uh, something it, it was there. really it was quite sweaty and much really about, not quite weird but it gets your confidence because if you don't don't get any trades it can get really boring and it can get boring quickly so if you get any minimum and any minimum like trading coins it makes you get more it's must really, might, might sound a bit weird but it makes you more enjoy it more so you're going to want to stay in there for quite a while because we win that game we we're waiting to get i put in a bit for like at least 10 minutes but that 10 minutes definitely like is worth it so i basically got 35 k as jamsa said you better get 35k for in 10 minutes. So minus EA tax. That oh, is. That isn't. Yeah. I think it's five percent EA tax, which was something we were going to talk about as well. Sorry to intrude, Hales, but um, yeah, the EA tax is like it's five five percent at the moment. It's gonna. I think Matt H Game it said it's gonna drop in November. Yeah. I think that just basically means all the player p prices will drop and yeah stuff like that. Just a lot about something here, guys. We buy Danny uh, Danny Simpson. No, it's not. Oh, it's, it's Simpson, the right back. I'm being retarded, and for some reason, it didn't. Like, my HPVR st stopped recording when it, it when I actually bought him. Because here I'm just like checking on the market for the latest prices, and as for me, it's just like stopped. It stopped recording. So that is the new addition to the team. I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's been is Hales and Jamster. Yeah, we hope. Uh if you like this video, then be sure to leave a like and subscription to see all our other videos. Cheers, guys. Bye.